Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. So we out here to teach the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who they are according to the Bible. That's right! You ever heard that you were Israelite, my brother? You ever heard that before? Have you ever heard that you were Israelite? God's chosen people. You ever heard that? To an extent, yeah. To an extent, okay. So that's why we out here. We out here to teach our people their history. Bring it up! Read that. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 7, verse 32. Bring it up! For we suffer because of our sins. So we want to know why our community got drug dealing, gang banging, killing, prostitution, people scared to come outside. Why? Read. For we suffer because of our sins. Why? Because of our sins. So God said we suffer, we going through bad things, because of our actions. That's right. Now you heard the word sin in church, James. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What does it mean to sin? I'm asking James. Sin. You do a lot of things to sin, man. It's, 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 I want to hear you, your perspective. Okay. That's one aspect of it. There's no respect for each other. No respect. That's a fact. Our people as a whole, we do not respect each other. Prime example. You know, an uh, uh, example of ex respecting each other. You see one of these little shorties buying squares, you'll say, shorty, what you doing? Stop. Why are you buying them cigarettes? It don't matter if it's for your mama, your grandma. You're not supposed to have them items in your possession. You a young man. You a young woman. That's out of order. But if we don't respect ourselves, we're not going to respect each other. That's right. So let's see what sin is. Because we hear that in church. God hates the sin, not the sinner. We hear that. Let's see what sin is. Because the Bible said we suffer because of our sins. So let's see what sin is. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Brother James, did you hear that? It said what? Whosoever committed sin transgress also the law. Young brothers, make sure y'all get a flyer, bro. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is when you break the rules of God. That is sin. So, when you go back to 2 Maccabees 7 and 32, it said we suffer because of our sins. So, we live in these bad conditions because we break the rules of God. God got rules that set in place and we breaking them. That's why we in this condition. Don't be quick to blame the white man, the Arab man, the Chinese. Don't get it wrong. Those your enemies according to the Bible. But you are in this situation because of your actions. Bring it out. Give me Leviticus 19, 17. So let's get some rules. Bring it let's out. get some rules that we breaking as a people. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Read it again from the top. Thou shalt not hate 
thy brother in thine heart. So that's the rule that we breaking as a people. Bring it out. God said you are not supposed to hate your brother in your heart. That's right. He's not talking about the vessel that's on the left side of your chest that yeah. pump blood. He talking about in your mind. That's right. A lot of us in this community, we hate each other for no apparent reason. Man, I don't like that nigga, Joe. Man, if he come over here, I'ma steal on him. Why? You don't have no reason why you dislike that brother. Right. It may be because he financially doing better than you or what you seen, what it seemed to be. It may be because he got a certain pair of shoes and you saying you don't like him. Bring it up. God said you're not supposed to hate your brother. That's the rule of God. That's one of the reasons why we get punished. That's one of the reasons why we suffering. Because we hate each other. Bring we, it out. Thou shalt not offend. Hold on. Thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not offend. Thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not offend. We got that problem. Somebody do something to you, you want payback. Right. You want revenge. Right. Why are so many shootings out here? Why? Why is there so many shootings? Because what? They shot your brother, your cousin. Oh, you got to get the get back. Read. Thou Listen up, brother. Get a flyer. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Hold on. What did God say? Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. We hold grudges. As a nation of people, we like to hold a grudge. Two sisters are being toured for 30 years because she stepped on her shoe freshman year in high school. Tell me I'm wrong. That's the truth. God said we're not supposed to hold a grudge. That's the problem in our community. A lot of y'all brothers that's in tour with each other, it's over so-called gang banging, stars, hat to the left, hat to the right, but really it's over some petty. The whole neighborhood in tour with each other because these two brothers had a dispute Bring it years up. ago, decades ago, Teach. and they didn't resolve the problem. Read. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Against the children of your people. You're not supposed to hold a grudge against that man that look like you. That's that right. sister that look like you. Right. That's why our communities is that way. We gonna keep dealing with the rules of God. Now when somebody do something wrong, do everybody be on the same page and do they show favoritism? That's my question. When somebody do something wrong, do everybody be on the same page or do they show favoritism? My sister, I got a question for you right here in the pink. I got a question for you, before you cross that street. Say you got a cousin, right? And then you got a person you don't know, right? Now, if the person you don't know steal, what should happen to them? They should get locked up, go to jail. But then if your cousin steal, what should happen to them? Why you say you don't know? Because that's your family? That's why I'm touching that. Leviticus 19:15. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 15. Bring it up. He shall not do unrighteousness and judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty. That's but right. in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Bring it up. Read it again from the top. Ye shall not, ye shall do no unrighteousness and judgment. You should not deal wickedly, evil in judgment. That's Guess right. what? If somebody do something wrong, it don't matter if you got a relationship with them. Right. You got to tell them, bro, you did wrong in that situation. Bring it out. If that's your cousin and he stole, it don't matter if that's your cousin. Bro, you stole. That's wrong. But then it's somebody else. No, nah, they stole. They need to go to jail. No, nah, God said don't deal like that. Read. That's right. Thou shalt not respect the persons of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty. Meaning what? You don't execute judgment or punishment or consequence because you got a relationship with them. Or they got a title. Or they somebody you know, your best friend. God said it don't matter. Ain't no favorites when somebody do something wrong. You address the problem and you tell them where they doing wrong at. Right. When you don't do that, not favoritism is in play. 
Now, judgment is not right. Bring it out. Read. But in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Righteously shall you judge your neighbor. Bring not according out. to how you feel. According to what God says. Bring it out. Stay in 19. Leviticus 19, 28. We going to touch the rules of God. These are the rules that you break it. These rules that our people are breaking is why the community is the way that it is. That's Take right. that flyer, brother. That's vital information for your life. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 28. Bring it out. Now, before we read this, if you get offended, it's not my word. It's not the brother standing up here. Right. This is the word of God. That's right. So, if you hear something come out the Bible that you're doing wrong, Fix it. Bring it out. We did it. You right. can do it. Read. Right. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, uh -huh. nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Read it again. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. So hold on. What's that? My brothers and sisters out here, what is that? What is the Bible talking about? It said, don't make any prints or cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Bring it out. That's talking about tattoos. Right. Guess what? Tattoos is against God. I didn't know that. When I found that out, I stopped getting them. Understand, it all go back to what? If you love God. Bring it out. If you love God, you got to show your action that you do. That's right. Just like a man and a woman. Man can't keep saying he love that woman and he cheat on her, beat out. on her, lie to her. You got to show God you love him by your actions. That's right. You can't keep saying you love God, you love the Lord, and you don't do nothing he say. That's right. Read on. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, uh -huh. nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So just in case we get simple and we think, oh, R.I.P. text. No. Any type of markings, any type of scars, Branding, some of y'all is in fraternities. What y'all do, y'all get brands. Oh, Omega Sci-Fi this, Zeta Phi that. No, God said don't put no markings on your body. No type of markings. If you're in the midst of that, you are sinning. You are going against the rules that God set for you. Give me 1926. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19. Verse 26, Bring it out. ye shall not eat anything with the blood, neither shall ye use enchantment, nor observe times. Read it again from the top. Ye shall not eat anything with the blood. Wait a minute, you probably like, hold on. God care about what I eat. You absolutely right. Oh, that's right. right. God cares about what you eat. Bring it out. Only one group of people they have a thing for eating food Bring with blood in it. Who is that? Out. The so-called white man. That's God right. said, you, black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, you are not supposed to eat nothing with the blood in it. That's right. What is that talking about? Eating it uncooked, getting steaks, medium rare, right. getting your burger, medium rare. Right. Bring it out. God said, the Hispanic, the black, the Native American is not supposed to eat anything with the blood in it. That's right. We talking about rules of God that you break every day and nobody tell you about. But we care about our people. So we going to tell you where you going wrong at and then show you how to get it right. That's Read. Right. Neither shall ye use enchantment nor observe times. It said what? Neither shall ye use enchantment nor observe time. My brother, get a flyer, get a flyer. It said, neither shall ye observe. What? Observe times. And what else? Neither shall ye use enchantments. That's talking about witchcraft. Bring it out. My sisters, if I ask y'all, do so-called blacks, Hispanics, or natives deal with witchcraft, what would you say? How so? You don't know. Guess what? You know how blacks, Hispanics, and natives deal with witchcraft? It's called horoscopes. Read that again. Bring it out. Neither shall ye use enchantments uh -huh. nor 
Observe times. How is that witchcraft? You get the paper and it say all. Oh, you are Aries. This how your day gonna be. You are observing the time. That witchcraft called astrology deal with looking at the stars. That's against God. That's right. You are not supposed to be dabbling in that. Guess what? The punishment for that is death. And that's thus saith the Lord. These are small rules that we break as a people. That's right. Give me um, read that one more time. Bring it the book out. of Leviticus. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. Bring it out. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Those of y'all walking past. Those of y'all listening, you are hearing the word of God. True, uncut, uncensored. Scriptures you don't hear in church. The real understanding of the Bible. Read that again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So I ask, is that going on in the black and Hispanic community? Bring it out. Read it one more time. They didn't hear. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. God oh. said, do not prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore. Right. How does that partake in our community? How does it happen in our community? You know how you prostitute your daughter? You let her come outside half naked. Right. You let her go to house parties, Bring kickbacks, fiestas, if right. she out west, right. hotel parties. Right. Read it one more time. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. We may be a little late. That's letting them go on prom. How you let your daughter go on prom and you know the man said to them young men? Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Boyfriends. You let them have a boyfriend. What is that doing? Cause her to be a whore. How so? You let her have a boyfriend at 15. Let's be realistic. Why do we act naive? That's not going to be her last boyfriend. Come on now. What the old head say? You get your first little taste, then you want some more? She going to have another and another and another. By the time your daughter 27, she done been with 10 men already. That's right, bring it up. And we don't see nothing wrong with that. But we complain about AIDS being in the community. Right. HIV. Right. Syphilis. Right. HPV. Right. We complain about all these things, but we allow it. Bring it out. Check yourself. I can't say check yourself before you wreck yourself. Everybody heard that song, but nobody took heed to it. It's too late. We already wrecked ourselves. How do we wreck ourselves? By sin, going against what God tells us to do. Read that one more time. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So when it comes to what? She come in your house pregnant. Your daughter comes home pregnant. Do not act surprised. Do not act shocked about it. You allow the boyfriends. You allowed the prom. You allow her to come outside with just leggings on, showing up. her curve, showing her vagina, showing her cleavage. You allow her to come outside like that. So when she come home pregnant, don't get upset. What are we doing? We addressing a bad parenting that's, right. that's been going on from generation to generation to generation. Right, right. And it's time that it ends. Right. How is it going to end? With the words of God. That's, that's right. That's how it's going to end. And again, like I said before, if the shoe fit, wear it. it if up. this is you as a parent, fix the situation. I used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. 
purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth